All right, so me and Bandit are about to go for a bike ride. My primary goal is not to die. My secondary goal is to give him a little bit of exercise. Oh, I'm gonna pause for a second. All right, so me and Bandit are about to go for a bike ride. He has an abundant source of energy. <clears throat> so we're gonna try to burn off some of that energy, give him an activity he can enjoy. With him, you know, he gets distracted by squirrels and stuff, especially when we're moving at high speeds. So what we wanna look out for is him darting in front of the bike and causing great injury to both of us. So we're gonna be very cognizant of that. And um, other than that, we're just gonna to try to have fun. Let's go, bud. So when we're riding a bike, we wanna go pretty slow. We want to make sure he's not getting out in front. Shh. So I don't even have to really pedal right now. I'm just going with the natural incline. But I want to make sure he's still paying attention to the leash. Shh. And this is great fun for him. So this is what he, this is what he likes to do more than anything. It's, it's just sprint. Shh. So I have to be very careful with the dog like that. You can see how his focus has changed and how he's staring off to the right. That's the first sign of my imminent death. So we don't, we don't want to lose any control of this leash. And I'm kind of using my arm out as a shield. So if he tries to go to the right, I have it all blocked up. But we do want to give him the chance to run. So, this is a great way to do Look at him go. He's just so happy right now. Ooh. And he is fast, man. I'm telling you. I rollerbladed with him. I'm biking with him. And he just wants to move. Shh. Hey, Bandit, can you hear me? So, there's the arm block. You see right there? Low. There's a squirrel, his arch nemesis. So what is that blocky? another squirrel you see he wants to get on that squirrel Shh. so like I said when dogs get up at these higher speeds especially dogs with an off-the-chart prey drive like this guy that prey drive is gonna kick in so you just got to be cognizant of that Shh. and it slow Good. Easy. <laughs> Good job, buddy. This is Bandit. We just finished our bike ride. We only went about a mile, but that's a mile of a dead sprint for Bandit. And now we're, we're giving him his other temptation, which is complete freedom. So you can tell he's already scanning for squirrels to hunt, which is, again, one of the highest prey drives I've seen in a while is on this dog. If there's a squirrel in sight, you got his attention, and if he thinks you can make a break for it, he probably will. So e-collar training is essential on a dog like this. So I'll also use a little bit higher stimulation on Bandit than I would on most dogs just because if I make a mistake or I hit him on a level he doesn't feel or can easily ignore, then, you know, he's gone. And he ain't coming back. So this is good. This is an activity for us together. Bandit, let's go. Good boy. Good boy. Bandit, come. Sit. Good, let's go. So 
what my only chance of ever getting this dog fully off leash reliable is to have him think we hunt together which is what we're doing bandit let's go good good boy where is it buddy where is it you find anything so clearly he's hunting good boy buddy good job good job bandit sit good okay good boy so he's he's working but he's paying attention to me i haven't had to press a button yet we're both having fun together and this is the promise of what i want with off leashness good boy buddy good boy and now instead of being mad that he's sniffing stuff or hunting i can say hey let's do this together we're a team good boy 